Hello everyone, this is Hamster the Accursed, here with another Bloodborne PvP video. Now you may be wondering, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Dark Souls Remaster is out. That is the hottest shit in town right now. Bloodborne is irrelevant. What are you doing? Well, like I said before, I am not gonna stop playing Bloodborne. Uh, granted, these uh, these clips you're gonna see today they're all uh, they're all pretty old. Uh, I haven't actually been invading in Bloodborne for a while now uh, because I have so much footage. Um, I don't want to collect so much that it becomes a problem for my uh, for my storage. Um, so I'm just sort of whittling down the footage and, and just making videos out of that. Uh, I still have a lot of footage, so I got maybe two or three more videos um, that I can just make with, you know, leftover footage. But uh, like I said before, I'm not going to stop playing Bloodborne. I'm not going to stop invading until the servers eventually just die. Uh, Bloodborne is my favorite game. Uh, out of all the from software, the modern ones, um, the Soulsborne series, if you want to call it that, Bloodborne is my favorite by far. So with that said, I want to mention that uh, going back to the simple, just bare bones move sets of Dark Souls One, it has been incredibly painful for me. Like I know I, I pretty much praise the remaster all the time, uh, just because they made network improvements and you know performance improvements and, and graphical improvements. Uh, that doesn't mean that the game is somehow fixed you know all the problems from you know fucking whenever long ago the game came out um i don't know five six years ago all those problems are still there you know the instant backstabs uh if you have some lag with people they're the, the funky backstabs are gonna they're gonna face stab you you know you'll be looking at them and they're gonna just warp you into their backstab um you got the simple move set that you gotta basically you basically go back to Dark Souls 3 when you think about it because in in Dark Souls 1 you can't really use the actual fun moves that you want to use because you're just gonna get backstabbed um, even in PvE if you use really slow moves um, which most of them are regardless of the weapon the enemies will more often than not just flat out damage you like a lot or you're eventually going to be dead or again they'll just flat out kill you because you know you can't use really big weapons and their slow moves and hit someone and recover before them that's not something they thought about in dark souls 3 you can get away with it in the pve not so much in pvp but uh, anyway, going back to that, it's just uh, really painful. Uh, in my opinion, Bloodborne has the best combat, uh, the best combat flow out of all the Souls games, uh, in my opinion. Am I biased? Uh, yeah, but I mean, who isn't? You know, when you say that you think that X Souls game, you know, has the best combat or whatever, you're obviously going to be biased because it's probably your favorite game. Uh, even if you look at them objectively, uh, Bloodborne is pretty up there because they just improved so much. The fact that there's no backstabs in the PvP is enough to put it on top, in my opinion. You don't have that's one less thing you have to deal with. Um, but again, that's just my opinion. That this is just a simple hunter's opinion. Uh, you can disagree with it. I don't mind. I'm just sharing my thoughts. Um, Another thing I would like to mention is that unlike the other Souls games, because this is more of a, a, a reflecting, reflective kind of a, 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 a commentary, because I've been playing the entirety of the Souls games for a while now. I've been replaying them forwards and backwards, literally. I, I did Demon Souls playthrough all the way to Dark Souls 3, uh, then I did some Bloodborne, and then I went back to Dark Souls 3, and then a little bit of Dark Souls 2, and... Now I'm back to Dark Souls 1, remaster, and I gotta tell you, when it comes to PvP, Bloodborne doesn't have as many random factors as the rest of the games. 
What I mean by that is that in Bloodborne, there aren't really any gimmicks that are going to deny you of playing the way you want to play, like in the rest of the Souls games. For example, in Bloodborne, you can pick up Ludwig's Holy Blade. It's effectively a, a hybrid. It's like a great sword and an ultra great sword. Um, it's like a mix, an in-between hybrid mix. It's a really fun weapon to use. That's why it's so popular, right? But uh, in Bloodborne, you can use that weapon effectively without having to worry about people just rolling into every one of your attacks to backstab you like you can in Dark Souls 1, uh, 2, and 3. So it's very difficult to use heavy weapons in all of the Souls games in an effective way. Uh, not, maybe not so much in invading, because invasions are typically uh, played against people that are trying to go through PvE, and they're not prepared to you know, try hard against you or whatever, but th the fact that they can do that still is, is quite a disadvantage, and it really discourages people from using the weapons that they want to use. So in that regard, uh, it's funny because uh, people complained about Bloodborne not having any builds because, you know, the, the, the stats, they're way less than in the Souls games. But at the same time, while that is true because there's only so much that you can do with the amount of stats that they give you, uh, even though it doesn't give you as many choices for stats, it gives you all the choices for weapons and playing styles which is completely the opposite of the Dark Souls series, in my opinion, because Dark Souls, you get, you know, a bunch of stats, but in the end, when people discover the gimmicks, people discover, you know, quote-unquote, the meta, or they discover just some gimmick build that shuts everything else down, uh, you're basically locked away from having fun, <laughs> in a way. Uh, that's not to say, you know, that it's the case all the time, but for example, in Dark Souls 1, uh, you know, spear users are basically going to be happy forever because in the remaster, they can't get dead angled, so they can turtle forever. And I don't know if you, any of you have fought a spear user, but they're incredibly annoying. They're not fun to fight against. Um, it's very cheesy. It's very, you know, and, and if they have a flipping ring and, and they can just run away forever and it somehow becomes even slower than Dark Souls 3 and takes even longer than Dark Souls 3 to, to get a hit in, and, and just... It, it's just not fun, you know? And, and that's just the type of gimmick that I mean. Bloodborne doesn't have that randomness factor of just having a, a, a different character or weapon shut down what it is that you want to do. You know, you don't have to deal with it. The, the things you have to deal in Bloodborne is basically the lag, but that's true for pretty much any online game ever. So that's a random factor, the, the lag, and the blood gems. Which is why blood gems, in my opinion, are so garbage, because they pretty much ruin the flow of combat. Uh, when you fight someone that just can two-shot you with a saw cleaver, you know, that's not fun. Um, so if Bloodborne didn't have that, it would be the most perfect from soft PvP experience ever, in my opinion. There's no really... there aren't any really gimmicky builds that can just shut down a weapon that you want to use. Uh, this game gives you complete freedom of movement and just complete freedom in your choice of weapons because there's nothing out there that can just literally completely shut you down like in the previous Souls games. Like for example, in Dark Souls 1 Remaster, you're not gonna you're not gonna win using a great axe against someone using a spear and they're playing really passive and they're just running away and poking you. You're not going to win. It doesn't matter how good you are at the game. You're not going to win. If they play it right, uh, yeah, you're not going to win. But at the same time, because the game is so random, you could probably win if you land like maybe two backstabs and they're instant, right? So that's an incredibly random thing. So whether the game grants you the backstabs or not, that's another factor. So I don't know if you're kind of understanding what I'm getting at here, you know, Bloodborne doesn't have any of that. You play and it rewards you for playing well. So aside from lag and blood gems, there isn't really anything out there that can just completely shut you down. Uh, you have freedom and you have the freedom to use whatever weapon you want and play it however it is that you want. In fact, you've been seeing my character Gwynheim here. 
I only use the one-handed Hunter's Axe moveset because the game lets me do that. I don't have to use the transform the transformed version if I really don't want to. So it's that freedom that you know the Souls games they really lack that freedom, which is why I love Bloodborne so much. And I don't hear people talking about that. You know, everyone is just complaining about the the healing and and the blood gems and oh the net code and this and that. And it's like yeah, but dude, you can get. Like, the blood gems are not an issue nowadays because all the tryhards, they're not playing this game anymore. Uh, and they're the only people that advocated for, you know, hey, let's just two-shot people and then complain that fights end too quick. You know, they're, they're gone. They're not playing this game. Blood vials, you're not going to have a problem if you play better than people. Like, you know, you can, you can use one blood vial, but you're going to force them to use five. You know what I mean? So as long as you play well, that's not really an issue. Um, so the real issue is always going to be the lag and the blood gems. Uh, blood gems nowadays are not going to be such a big issue. But Bloodborne rewards you for playing well, unlike the Souls games, in my opinion. Souls, game rewar uh, Souls games reward you for using the gimmick builds or using the meta weapons and playing the same way that everyone else plays. That's not to say that you have to be a special snowflake. You know, some people have fun using the meta builds because so for some people winning, that's their fun. Even if it means one-shotting you with a instant backstab, instant hornet ring backstab, you know. Uh, I myself don't, don't understand what's the, the fun in that, you know, because what's the point? You know, player versus player, you're supposed to fight, not just click on a button. You see that guy? I baited him into gesturing and now he's going to die. <laughs> Don't gesture in the games that you can't cancel out of your gestures. But uh, yeah, don't mistake what I'm saying though. I'm not saying that, you know, the, the playing well, you know, the, the, the part where I said that it rewards you for playing well. Don't mistake that for this having any sort of competitive nature. Um... I think it's pointless to try hard in these games, uh, all of them, Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, and Bloodborne. You know, you got these people that take it so seriously, they, they participate in these tournaments. Tournaments themselves doesn't imply, you know, actual competitive tryhardiness. Because you could just have a tournament, you know, and just be like, hey, let's just, you know, fight and see who wins. You know, it doesn't have to be hyper esports. But these esports wannabe guys, uh, uh, they don't seem to understand that these games are not meant to be competitive, and that's not me saying it. These games are literally not in any way meant to be competitive. So it's like a Smash Brothers situation in which uh, uh, the director of Smash Brothers says that the games are not meant to be competitive, but Smash Brothers is played competitively anyway. Except that this game is actually these all these games. You know, these games are all actually action RPGs. So at least with Smash Brothers, you have more of an argument than with the Souls games, <laughs> you know? Um, there is no argument here. These games were not meant to be run in a bracket. The, you're never meant to, to see Bloodborne Evo tournaments, you know? Uh, you, that's not what at all. Like, anyone saying otherwise is, is just... They're grasping at straws, and they are just making an argument because they just refuse to play an actual fighting game. That's how I view it. That's le le You may think that I'm just generalizing it, and I may be, yeah, I may be, but these people are everywhere now, and they infect other people with this mindset, and just people rob themselves of a fun PvP experience. The PvP in all these games is, it's dumb. And I mean that in a good way, it's just dumb. And you're meant to have some dumb fun where the invader is the guy that has more experience than the people he's invading usually and you're either there to to hunt them down and and impede their progress or you get killed <laughs> you know or maybe in some cases you both die the host dies and then you die um you laugh about it maybe the host laughs about it too maybe they get mad but they continue with their playthrough and you continue invading that's the cycle uh, 
if you want to make it a little bit more serious, have a 1v1 against your friends, you can do that, fine. There's nothing impeding you from doing that. Uh, but, you know, to actually suggest that these games, you know, that you can have these advanced techniques that make you a competitive player and whatever, that, that's ridiculous to me. Because most of the techniques is just... They're, they're just flashy, dumb shit that doesn't work, you know? Rarely will you ever do something that's legitimate. That's why so many people love the Dark Souls 1 quote-unquote tech. Uh, because there's so much to learn there. You know, you got reverse rolls. Those are useful. But they're only useful if you know someone is just going to throw a random attack. This is a blood cop intermission here. I actually spawned inside the cell. I'm greeted by a, a 3v1. I love it. This is a great situation. This this clip right here is the perfect representation of what invasions and what the PvP is all about in these games. You just, I arrived and I was locked in a cell and if I want to get out, I have to fight three people <laughs> um, with the blood cop. There was a lot of lag, as you can see. There was a bunch of latency and just, ugh, whatever. But anyway, look, I don't want to rant about it. I'm not saying that people that play these games seriously are wrong. Look, again, if they have fun with that, then whatever. They're the ones that already spent the money to buy the game, so whatever. Uh, it is, it is uh, in my eyes, it is pointless to, to try hard. And, and you know, it, that's just my thoughts about it, you know. This guy actually accepted his death, but he did stop his felony of co-oping. So, uh... I let him off the hook this time. No ticket for you, sir. But yeah, um, I really don't want to just rant about why I feel that being competitive in these games is dumb, but, uh, you know, that's just the general gist of it. Uh, I don't really, I just don't understand it, you know, maybe, maybe it's just not my thing, maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way, because I have dueled a lot in Dark Souls, uh, and I even had some duels in Bloodborne, but it's just not something that I can get behind, you know, these people that are like, well, you know, these, these, I don't use these weapons because they're not viable, they're not, you know, competitively viable, it's like, it's a FromSoft game, you fucking idiot, what are you talking about competitive, like, this is some fucking esports, like, as if anyone is gonna give you a sponsor because you beat Johnny somebody from YouTube in your duel, you know what I mean? In my eyes, being competitive is okay in, like, fighting games and, and just proper competitive games. Because there's always the chance that you can get good enough that you can actually get paid for it. And when money's involved, it's different because then you really gotta try hard because you're getting paid for it. Then it's worth it. In my eyes, you know. That doesn't mean that you can't get, you know, good at a game just because you find it fun. I try to practice in fighting games because I find it fun to sort of track my own progress. That's fun for me. You know, I'm not I'm not going to participate in Evo. I'm not going to win a million dollar sponsored contract. Um, that's just my fun. And I understand other people have fun by also doing that because they just want to get good and they want to beat people. But that's in fighting games. So, uh... So yeah, uh, you've been seeing Windheim invasions, and man, I gotta tell you, invasions in Dark Souls 1 with Windheim, man, they're difficult as fuck, dude. I'm gonna be making a video, but uh, let's just say that I've been getting killed quite a lot, okay? And... That's where I go back to my point, you know, that going back to these simple movesets, um, it, it has been the most difficult thing for me because it's different if I'm playing the PvE, uh, you know, and I'm going back and forth between Souls games like I have, but I've been going back and forth from PvP. So I, I went from doing my, my last couple of uh, online PvP team matches in Dark Souls 3. I went back to play some Dark Souls 1 on PlayStation 3. 
uh, then I'm going back to, to remaster and I now I'm talking about Bloodborne and comparing everything it is so difficult going from such a, a, a fast paced uh, freedom freedom inducing <laughs> game like Bloodborne because the movement is just so good the freedom that you get to play how you want and play with whatever weapons you want the the freedom is so good that going back to you know not being able to use an axe properly because it's just not as good as a spear it's just not as fast as a katana it just doesn't do as much damage as a gold tracer with the bleeding effect you know it's like i'm, I'm going back to like the bare bones just a shallow pool of choice when it comes to Dark Souls 1. Don't get me wrong, I am having fun, but I just figured I would mention it because it's not all nice and peachy, you know. It's not absolutely perfect. I don't want anyone to think that that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, when I was making this video, I went through the clips and I was having so much fun just looking at the damn clips. Not even playing it because I haven't touched Bloodborne yet. Um, I do plan to, to go back and, and do some invasions. Um, even if the game isn't as populated anymore, I, I really don't care. I enjoy it. It's, it's the game. It's my game. You know, Bloodborne is my game. It's my bread and butter. It's my, my main content game. You know, it, it's the game that I love. Uh, will I be uploading videos of Bloodborne literally until the servers go down probably not i mean I, I i do i do plan on maybe uploading other other games not necessarily multiplayer uh so this channel at some point just letting you know this channel at some point may eventually go silent or dead for a while until i figure out what i want to do uh but for now i do plan on just doing a bloodborne video and then i'm going to do a remaster video so and so but, uh, yeah, this was sort of like a, a ranty thing about uh, comparing Bloodborne to other Souls games. Uh, basically, you know, Souls games are just, in terms of combat, they're just inferior to me. They don't give me that freedom, the freedom that I love. Uh, that Bloodborne spoiled me on, you know, Bloodborne gave me all the choices. Uh... It's not perfect either, obviously. You already know that I don't think Bloodborne is the most perfectest, bestest game ever. At least when it comes to PvP. I do think the PvE is, is fucking amazing and perfect. But the PvP does have its flaws. And, you know, that's expected. But when compared to the other Souls games, this game really does allow you to express yourself uh, in your gameplay. I don't want to sound like, you know, I don't want to be too poetic or, or deep about it. It's not that deep or poetic. Um, it's just a very basic feel, you know. Um, the game feels so good to play in PvP. Uh, the moves that you can use and not get punished by a fucking instant backstab that takes away 80% of your health because you wanted to have fun using that attack. You know what I mean? Like, you can use the fun attacks that you want. You can get parried, sure, but I mean, that doesn't mean that your attack is not going to be, like, you, you're not going to be locked out of using an attack because you're trying to have fun and, and you just can't because people are going to insta-punish it, you know? So yeah, those are my thoughts about, uh, sort of like a retrospective, you know, um, going back to Dark Souls 1, you know, the, the basic-ass movesets, man, they're fucking garbage. Bloodborne forever, <laughs> basically. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Join me in the next couple of seconds in which I will dodge a call beyond by accident. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.